This is Bly Metal Gamer, and you're watching my impressions of the Street Fighter 6 closed beta on PS5. Be sure to subscribe for great content and much, much more. Hello everyone, Bly Metal Gamer here, and it's now time for a Street Fighter 6 closed beta impressions video. In this video, I'm going to give my impressions of my experience of playing the closed beta for Street Fighter 6, which is live as of the making of this video. Initially, I'm going to say I'm very impressed with a lot of the features in the game. The battle hub is awesome. You have, when you fire up the game, you have to do a couple things to get logged in. Uh, come up with your name and all that. When you do all of that, you go straight into the battle, to the main menu where you can select the battle hub. And I'm going to say this right off the bat. Capcom did an amazing job so far with accessibility. In the fights, you see different types uh, or you'll have different types of sounds for far for if your enemy is close to you if your enemy is attacking you for cross-ups there's different sounds for each thing that's happening in, on the battlefield now i wish the one thing i noticed right away i wish there would be a menu narrator that would really help with accessibility the accessibility they have now for battle is great but what they need is a menu narrator for menu navigation they need, which it'll say like battle hub when you collect, select the battle hub, which right now in the bed is the only option. Uh, I did not get to try out all the characters, I just tried Ken, and I was trying the modern control set where you just hit forward and a button to perform special moves. I didn't get to do the Hadouken, the Hurricane Kick, none of that. Uh, but what I did notice was parrying is easily done. You can hear Ken cry out uh, a, a thing when. Uh, you do a successful parry or a successful super move. Uh, super moves are done by pushing triangle and circle. Throws are put, done by pushing square and X. And these are on the PlayStation 5, so you'll have to modify for Xbox. Now, I think it's cool that they have these features in the game. And you can have classic controls as well. So that's, that's a good thing. I like that, you know, these are in there because it's going to help players with all abilities. And I think this is a good thing for Capcom because it's going to definitely get more people to pre-order this game and buy it. And I will say this right now, I'm definitely going to buy this game and stream it when I get the full version. Uh, as far as the, the battling, the fighting, it's very fluid, very fast paced, very smooth. I didn't experience any lag. I didn't experience any type of connection issues during the fights. Although I did get my ass kicked, but that was um, by my own doing, not not the games. It was because of me. I screwed up. I deserved my ass whooping. So there you go. Um, as for the netcode, like I said, it's smooth. It's silky smooth. I haven't noticed any type of issues. And when you request a fight in the battle hub, you just walk around with your character. And you go in and you can... Go up to a fighter, request a fight at a battle station, and then it'll vi the controller vibrates. Here comes a new challenger, you know, or whatever the thing's gonna say. But it says it out loud, which is cool, which is great because again, if the person has lower or no vision, they know what's coming and they can feel the vi the controller rumble in their hands and really feel the pulse of the power of there's going to be a fight coming by god it's time to open up some whoop ass on my opponent this game this beta has me hyped and i can guarantee you this when it comes for the pre-order your boy blind metal gamer is going to get it and he's going to stream it at launch now overall impressions of the beta as a whole I wish they would have allowed us to custom out to experience the world tour mode, maybe a taste of it. And I know they're doing the battle hub test, which I get that. But I wish that they would have allowed us maybe to experience world tour mode, maybe a little bit of versus or the character customizer. But uh, in, at the end of the day, what I have experienced is great. It's fun. I want more. I wish this, you know, this. I wish that they would. Maybe release another beta or an open beta and with more characters and more accessibility. I know this is corny, but the accessibility needs to be brought to the forefront here. And, and what they have now is good. Don't get me wrong. It's a good start. But Capcom, if you're listening to this video or watching this video, I want to make a suggestion to you that would very much improve this game's accessibility 
and get it in more players' hands. Give this game a mini narrator, please. This will help more people get into the game. It'll help more people enjoy the game. It'll open up the, your, your player pool to more players. And it'll help more people really enjoy what this game has to offer. And that's great gameplay and great action. So with that being said, this has been my impressions of the Street Fighter 6 closed beta. I hope everybody enjoys this video. If you all have any impressions of the game so far, leave them in the comments section down below and let's talk about it. Until next time, I've been your host Blind Metal Gamer saying so long everyone and peace out. Challenger! Let's get this mission started. Let me have some fun! Round one. Fight!
operation. Round two. Fight. Just on another level. Round two. Fight! Fire! 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 
Heads up! Heads up! 